The great thing about intense pencils and intense blocks is that you can use them on silk. So have some fantastic results. I'm just going to show you now how easy it is to do that. Okay, so silk painting with the Inktense range. Really, really easy and you can get some great results from it. All we need to do to start off with is wet the silk. So what I've done first of all is I've put a bit of silk into a hoop, stretched it out so it's quite taut, just so you can keep it still basically whilst we're painting on it. And then I'm just going to wet the silk. I'm just going to put down a, a sort of wash background area if you like using the block. So I'm just going to wet that quite thoroughly all over and then I'm going to take the block. What you could do here, you could paint directly from the block with a brush. I've just snapped the block in half a bit and so you can just literally walk, go straight onto the silk there. It's got beautiful, beautiful bright green there. You could just leave it at that. If you want to, you can add a bit more water, make it a little bit more pale. And just see how quick and easy that is to go in. If you're doing a big area, then the blocks are absolutely perfect for that. So that's a nice background colour put down. And then once that's dried, we can go on top of that with some pencil marks. Now you can see, as this is totally, totally dry, that green is now permanent. So you can work on top of that quite easily. Just gonna wet the silk again but just a little bit lighter this time because I don't want it running everywhere. Right. And then we're going to use the pencils. That's probably wet enough for now. Oh. For flower sake we'll use a sort of ready pink. And I'm just going to draw directly on the silk with the pencil. And you can see because I haven't got too much water on it keeps the line pretty well though if you want to you can use gutter and um, if you want to do a um, more delicate or intricate design keeping the uh, colors completely separate but what I like about the pencils is I can go on here with the red I can smudge it about a bit I quite like the way it bleeds here and there where there's a little bit more water on that petal or that one I can then take another colour and start blending it in on top of each other. Yeah. Adding a bit of pink onto here. And maybe finish it off with a bit of yellow. So that all becomes more orangey in colour. And then of course you can use your paintbrush if you want to smudge things around or just neaten things up a little bit. And what you could do is totally uh, add a bit more pink in if you want to using the paintbrush directly. If you wanted to add just that little bit of extra colour there. So you can see the difference between this area at the top where the pencil line has stayed quite tight which is a lot less wet than this area here just depends what kind of effect you want to go for I kind of like that loose area down there there we go nice and simple once that's dry that is permanent and you can wash it 30 degrees in the washing machine and it's going to stay